All right, news and notes that have gone down here in the last couple of days for college football. Todd Munkin has officially taken the offensive coordinator position with the Baltimore Ravens. Shouldn't come as a huge surprise. His background has been in the NFL, and given the challenges like we've talked about on this program before, being a coordinator in the NFL, the quality of life is a whole heck of a lot better than what college football coordinators are asked to do right now. The -the round-the-clock recruiting, it's for the birds, at least in the eyes of many. When you look at what they did as they went through the process of finding a replacement, and when I say process, I use that a little bit tongue-in-cheek. I think it took about seven minutes for them to determine that Mike Bobo was ultimately going to be the successor to Todd Munkin. Now, this has been met by a lot of people with a little bit of hesitation. Some people have rolled their eyes. Some people have said, really, it's an interesting choice because Mike Bobo, most recently, whether it be his stops at both South Carolina or prior to that, or excuse me, at just after that, With the Auburn Tigers, it hasn't really felt great in recent years. But I must go back. I mean, people are citing, and I've seen people that I respect and people that I really like in the industry, they're kind of picking up some low-hanging fruit when assessing whether or not Mike Bobo will be successful. They're pointing to his year in 2020 when he was at South Carolina. He was supposed to resurrect that South Carolina offense, and they kind of limped to the finish line in a two-win season with the 98th-ranked scoring offense. And then, to take it one step further, he decides to go to Auburn. He was there for just one year, and clearly there was a little bit of a friction between him and the head coach, Brian Harson with how things wanted to go. He returned to Georgia in an analyst role and has been right there developing the relationships with the players that are likely to be competing for the quarterback position. And he's been watching how Todd Munkin puts together his offensive plan. And while I don't think you can just wave the magic wand and just replace Todd Munkin without any issues whatsoever, Todd Munkin was sensational. The last few years did a great job with developing Stetson Bennett, did a great job of creating matchup problems for his best weapons, did a great job of marrying run and pass, did a great job of continuing to preach physicality along the line of scrimmage in an ever-changing RPO-centric offense. He did a great job. I love what Todd Munkin did. But why do we think Mike Bobo can't do the exact same thing that Todd Munkin did? Are we pointing to some of his previous stops? Sure. Are we pointing to some of the quotes that he's had over the course of time about saying, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of tempo offense? Sure. We can point to those things, but we can also point to where Georgia is right now with their program and the pedestal that they currently reside on. Georgia's in a position where they're going to hopefully, for them, win a third consecutive national championship. The best thing that Georgia's had going for them in the last handful of years has been continuity with their coordinators. And yes, you can point to, well, you know, they just lost their coordinator from last year. Dan Lanning decided to go to Oregon to become the head coach. That's fine. Like, okay, a little bit of turnover there, but guess who's still there? Glenn Schumann, who was on staff, and Will Muschamp, who was on staff. So it worked defensively this year. You lose a great coordinator who got a chance to become a head coach. You promote it from within, and the defense didn't skip a beat at any point in 2022. If it worked on defense, why would you not at least try it on offense? Mike Bobo's been there. He understands the personnel. He understands the terminology. He understands how to make this transition as smooth as humanly possible. And... If Georgia needed a shot in the arm because their offense really wasn't that good last year, then I would have questions about whether or not Mike Bobo was the right man for the job. But since Georgia just needs to keep the status quo, I love that they kept the search internal. I think it makes a ton of sense. And I think it's going to pay dividends with the relationship that's already been built between Mike Bobo and the three quarterbacks that will be vying for the position here in 2023.